How's it going everyone? Bass here. So a busy day today in Green Bay. Just after the release of Kamal Martin, the Packers are trading cornerback Kadar Holman to the Texans. So Kadar Holman was that sixth round draft choice in the 2019 NFL draft out of Toledo and the Packers, as for compensation, are receiving a 2022 seventh round draft choice. So now that's two trades with the Houston Texans this year, obviously earlier trading uh, for Randall Cobb for that sixth round draft choice, now getting a seventh round back. I believe it was um, owned by the Bears pick they had but getting a pick back from the Texans now. So in terms of this trade, my thoughts on it are it's very similar to the Kamal Martin cut. Really, just generally speaking, Kadar Holman was the odd man out in that cornerback room. Now, obviously, the Packers drafted two corners this year with Eric Stokes and Shamar Jean Charles, so they definitely wanted to add more talent into that cornerback room. And I, in my eyes, I think they only keep six corners, and they have about you know, three guys, well, now two, but they had three guys fighting for that spot. Um, one being newly acquired cornerback Isaac Yadam, um, KB and Ento and Kadar Holman, but now just KB and Ento and Isaac Yadam will probably fight for that sixth spot. I don't think the Packers will keep seven corners, and I think this is pretty telling the fact that they traded Kadar Holman. Um, I definitely see KB and Ento taking that sixth spot. He's been playing really well in the preseason this year. Now, as for Kadar Holman, he was a great athlete coming out of Toledo. You know, six foot, he ran a 4.3840. He had a 38.5 inch vertical. And, you know, overall, you loved his speed. You thought maybe he could become a decent depth outside cornerback, but he never really amounted to much. And he's already turning 27 in a month. That's another thing to look at. He had 112 snaps on defense and 198 snaps on special teams. Now, obviously, the Packers are trying to improve their special teams. So if Kadar Holman was one of those guys that played on special teams a lot, well, to be honest, the special teams was pretty bad for the past two years. So obviously, they want to shake some things up there. But overall, it's just nice to see Brian Gutekunst at least get something back in return. And it's not that bad of a return considering you got, you know, two years of this player. You spent a seven, you spent a six round on him, but you got back a seventh for next year, which isn't that bad. Um, you don't really lose much in that regard. And as I said earlier, just really just the odd man out uh, with the five locks being Jair, Kevin King, uh, Channon Sullivan, Eric Stokes, and Shamar Jean Charles. There's really just no room for him to make that sixth spot with the way um, KB and Ento has been playing. Um, I definitely wouldn't see the Packers cutting Ento over Kadar Holman. So that's about going to do it for today's video. Just some more news out of Green Bay as the Packers trim their roster closer and closer to that 53-man roster. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to release a 53-man roster uh, prediction, and I will do that. But on that note, I'll catch you on the next one. And as always, Go Pack Go!